if I'm gonna set some big goals, I need to support the body. Gym is where you build that support. I would say at the minute my strength is sitting at about 10 out of 100, but within about four or five weeks of getting in the gym two to three times a week, it'll be back closer to 100. Gym, super, super important. Let's bang out some gym. Okay, so welcome to today's YouTube. This is a gym session. This is actually a gym session that I did Thursday afternoon. So, you know, you watched the threshold video yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And then I come to the gym to do some gym. So this is kind of like a warm up. It, it starts with some calf walks and then some heel walks. I usually do two to three sets of both of these. And to be honest, it might look stupid that I'm kind of like dancing and messing around, but it's really good for opening the hips up, the adductors up, getting the calves moving, and it kind of just feeds into the warm up. Um, I also just really like music in the gym and playing around a bit. Um, it makes gym a little bit less boring, and um, yeah, once I'm in there, it kind of has that like feel good vibe. So we're doing some lunges. Again, this is all just warm up stuff. So I've got to the gym, usually I do only about three to four minutes of cardio. And then I go through this warm up routine, which gets the calves going. The heel walks are really good for the muscles on the front of the shin. The calf walks, I'm trying to focus on keeping the body up as tall as I can, chest up nice and high. And that's really good to get a bit of blood flowing and a bit of activation. So now I'm just walking through some hamstring stretches. The first one was more of a hamstring floss and you're sort of, you know, legs reached out and you're sort of like stroking the ground rather than like jerking. This one, you're going inversion and I think it would be like, you're kind of like pointing the toes out and then pointing the toes in and you know, it's getting a bit of work on the adductors and hamstrings. We were doing some hip walks there. So you're walking backwards and then you're pushing the hip out. If you get tight around your hips, you're probably gonna find just doing that little walk super tight. Here we're into the walking lunges. So this is the lunge one. And you go down into a lunge, you reach the medicine ball over the front foot and then come up into a knee drive. And what we're starting to, what you're trying to do here really is start to include different muscles. And so we're kind of working core, we're kind of working like the trunk. We are working the glutes, we are working the quads and hamstrings, but with running, you want to get the body working together so the muscles are working in sync. So that was the second medicine ball walk or lunge walk, you could say. And again, I'm doing it here again. So you're going down into a lunge, medicine ball over to one side. Then you look at that side and then you drive that knee up. But you should be trying to think about your balance, trying to make sure that the body feels as stable as you can possibly feel. Try to get that pelvis forward so that the glutes are, you know, out nice and forward. And um, yeah, you're going to just find, you're probably going to find yourself quite shaky when you start doing these lunge circuits at first. But don't worry about it. Just, you know, hang in there. Try to copy what I'm doing. I'm doing two to three sets of each lunge. And so while you only get to see one, I'm always doing two to three sets. It's always about 20 to 30 meters. And here we are again, down into the lunge, kettlebell across. And it's that kind of like, it's the look that makes it tough. So you go down and then as you look in the direction that the kettlebell's going, that's when your balance starts to go. If you can improve that balance, just think about it. Every single stride that you take while running is going to be better. More control, more efficient, better running economy, etc., etc. Running becomes easier. So this is just some adductor lunges down into the adductor lunge and then you spring up off the back foot and then extend the kettlebell, kettlebell sorry, above your head. And that's a really good exercise. I, I get quite a lot of problems with my adductors, so you'll see a couple more adductor exercises later. And so now we're getting set up. I tend to superset exercises, so anyone that doesn't know what a superset is, it's essentially combining two exercises together. And so now we've got a split leg lunge. You can see I tuck the pelvis under. You're doing the split leg lunge. And then 
my superset is when I when I finish doing the split leg lunge. So I do six reps each leg. And this is also, it's not just good for strength, it's really good for like flexibility and dynamic movement. You want to get really stable through those single leg exercises. So the superset, I do some plyometric jumps. I took my slippers off because I didn't trust them. But basically I do a little bit of strength and I try to combine that little bit of strength with the likes of this, like a plyometric jump. You'll see other plyometric exercises soon. And in the Run and Master class, there is a full video on home plyometric exercises. Okay, so we're on to some glutes now. This is like a box step up. So you're driving that foot down, and as you drive your right foot down, left leg and body is accelerating up. And that's kind of all that right hip. But what you do want to do is make sure you're tucking the pelvis under first, and then driving up and extending the hips forward and through. So this is just kind of like a silly plyometric exercise I do. It's, it's not probably traditional for runners, but again, it's just speed of movement, speed off the box, speed off the floor. I don't look rapid there, but you know, this is sort of week one and, and it'll progress. So this is the box step ups, but showing you the left side. You try to only lift a weight that you can be as controlled as you possibly can. So although you want speed and power, you do want control. So I'm back to my box step ups. And actually, if you go on YouTube, you can type in like Kipchoge gym. And this is what the Kenyans are kind of doing. Like it's more like step aerobics, but it's still good for, you know, fast feet and, and that kind of like reaction time off the ground. So now I do some quarter squats. I think this is 140, 185 pounds, whatever that is in kilograms. But basically I'm going down into the quarter squat, then you can see at the end there's a little par. And you're trying to push those hips through, and the reason the bar is bouncing a bit is because of that par at the end where you're driving up. I have to say, I do have a great time in the gym. I get the music on and I'm so annoyed I can't, I'm listening to psycho killer and i'm so annoyed i can't use that for youtube because i'll get copyright claims but you guys can listen to it while you watch me dancing <laughs> okay so this is just more squats again with the power up really really trying to keep the knees out keep the chest up nice and tall and then you're powering those hips and glutes through towards the end to make sure that you're locking it out Okay, so gym doesn't have to take forever. That was a quick snapshot of gym. Now I'm gonna do some very, very boring Swiss ball, core, hamstrings, a little bit of glutes, a little bit of arse, a little bit of core. And that'll call it a day. Okay, so this is just a bit of a, kind of like a core routine, but what I do is I finish the other gym and then I think to myself, have I kind of like avoided any muscles? Have I skipped any muscles? And so didn't feel like I did a lot for the hamstring. So I get the Swiss ball. I do some double leg curls and then I do some single leg curls. And what you want to be doing here is keeping the hips through as much as you can. And then this is just some abs. My, my abs are atrocious. They, they look good, but they're weak. That was tough. I find this really tough, but it's, it's kind of like at the end of the session, just trying to get some extra, this is isometric hamstring holds. So it's a pretty long lever, which is bringing the hamstring in a bit more. What I mean by that is, if you brought your bum closer to the bosa ball, you'd be closing the lever and that would make it more glute. But this was very sort of hamstring dominant. And so you tuck that pelvis and then you drive up but I'm feeling this a lot on the hamstrings. I, I don't do too much because I do remember thinking I'm kind of really starting to feel this now. And this is now side adductor holds. So these are brilliant for the side adductors, but if you haven't done them before, start on your knee. So don't go straight to the foot, which kind of makes it a longer lever. Go with the knee. And then we're also combining some side obliques and some abs which yeah, we're killing two birds of one stone. 
Now I blow Katie a kiss. <laughs> but yeah, now we're just finishing off with some plank. You can bring the plank up into single leg also. Look, it's not a super complicated gym program. Like I said, it's week one. You do want to be doing this twice a week at least. But yeah, hopefully you you know you you pick up some tips there. You you find something you'd like to do. Get consistent with it. Don't forget to warm up, and you know you're you're get the core strong. Get some single leg movements into your gym program, and and you can't go wrong. So I think I close it out now for you. Okay, that's gym finished. I'm gonna be so sore after doing that. I can already feel my hamstrings, my adductors, everything hurting. But that's sometimes what you gotta do. You gotta get back on the horse. You gotta get stuck in. Something happened today, something clicked. And it said, we can fucking do this. Motivation, it changed. Don't stress too much when your motivation isn't quite where you want it to be. Just know that literally a day later, it might turn for the better and you might get that hunger back. Don't beat yourself up when it's not quite where you want it to be. Just try to keep the training consistent and wait for it to turn. And once it turns, enjoy the ride. Today's tip of the day, even when you're not feeling great, try to keep things consistent. You wanna keep the training diary looking as clean as you possibly can so that when the motivation does return and the big goal starts to get closer, you kept yourself in the fight.